So this one is a continuation video of the previous one. The next five compounds in the naming. So here, next one is question number sixth one. As a sixth compound, I have CH3, C, C2H5, twice CH2Br. So just follow the compound. So here, I'm going to put CH3, C, and on this carbon, there are two C2H5s that is in the bracket. So one C2H5 is here, and the other C2H5, I'm going to draw it below. That is CH2, CH3. Then I'm going to continue the chain, CH2, Br. So this is my compound. Now for this, I'm going to do the naming. Now when I name the compound, I'm going to start from the one where the functional group is there. So this is question, carbon number 1, 2, and I'm going to go to the longest chain, either top or bottom, any one group. So here I have a 4 carbon chain, which is my longest parent hydrocarbon. So I'm going to name this as butane as the parent hydrocarbon. And then now on position number 1, I have a bromo group. Position number 2, I have a methyl group. And position number 2, I have a ethyl group. So now I'm going to name them based on alphabetical order. So I'm going to put 1 bromo, 2 ethyl, comma, 2 methyl, butane. So this is the compound name. Now the nature of the of the alkyl halide, if you're looking at the BR where the carbon is bonded to, that carbon only on one side there is an alkyl chain. So therefore this is going to be a primary alkyl halide. Alright. Now we move into the next question, which is the seventh one. Now for the seventh one, we have CH3, C, Cl, then brackets again C2, H5, CH2, CH3. Now let's put the molecule out. So this is CH3, C, and on that in brackets there are two groups. One is Cl and then we have CH2, CH3, which is the ethyl group. And then let's continue the chain. CH2, CH3. Now what we are going to do here is we are going to draw the chain. So when we draw the chain, we are going to consider this in such a way that the compound is going to get the longest chain as well as the lowest carbon, lowest count for the, for the halogen. So we start from here 1, 2, 3, 4 or 3, 4. Both are the same. So I'll just take this 3, 4. So I have the longest parent hydrocarbon which is butane with the 4 carbon chain. On carbon number 2 I have a chloro group and carbon number 2 I have an ethyl group. Let's put them in alphabetical order. So here we can write it is 2 chloro 2 ethyl butane. Now if you look at the nature of the compound. On one side of the carbon, there's an alkyl group. On the other side of the carbon, there's an alkyl group. And on the other side of the carbon, again, there's another alkyl group. Such kind of alkyl halides are tertiary alkyl halides. Alright? So, this is the one. Now, next one is from question number Next is question number 9. No, the, no, sorry. The next one is question number 8. So, under question number 8, I have this question, which is CH3, CH, double bond, C, CL, CH2, CH, CH3, twice. So for this, let's draw the compound. I have CH3, CH double bond C. So the bracket compound comes here and then I have CH2, CH. The one in bracket will be two times over here. 
one is CH3, the other one is CH3. Now let's start naming, numbering them, keeping two things in mind. So when you number, now in this compound, when you're noticing, one you have a functional group, the other one you have a double bond. Out of these two, obviously the double bond is given priority. So for that, you're going to start numbering in such a way that double bond gets the lowest number. So I start from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the longest chain that I got is a hexane chain. Alright, but here I can't put hexane because I have a double bond here. So what will I do? I'm going to include the double bond in the parent chain. So when I write that, I'm going to put this as hex on which position is the double bond it is standing on position number 2 so hex 2 e so that takes care of the double bond and it takes care of the longest chain now let's look at the substituents at position number 3 i have a substituent chloro and position number 5 i have a substituent methyl group so here alphabetical order again it's going to be 3 chloro 5 methyl hex 2 e all right now what type of an alkyl halide is this so here i have a double bond and on the same carbon that contains a double bond i have an alkyl group such kind of halides where the double bond carbon will have a halide group is called as a vinyl halide such kind of halides are called as a vinyl halide. Now, next one is question number 9. So, under question number 9, we have CH3, CH, double bond, CH, C. In brackets, we have BR and we have CH3 twice. Now, let's open up this entire compound. So, when you open up the entire compound, you will have CH3, CH, double bond, CH, C and we have on one BR, then we have a CH3 and then we have a CH3. Now, when you are trying to number this particular compound, you have two things in mind. One is you have a bromo group and the other one is an ethane, ethane the double bonded group. So out of these two, obviously the priority is given to the double bond. So you're going to start from that side where the double bond gets the least count. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So in this now, when you when you name them, when you number them like this, you have a 5 carbon chain with a double bond starting on position number 2. So 5 carbon chain is given as pent. And since you have a double bond, double bond will go with the parent hydrocarbon. So the double bond is starting from carbon number 2. So this is pent 2 in. Alright. Now, let's look at the substituent. On position number 4, I have a bromo. And position number 4, I have a methyl group. Again, based on uh, alphabetical order, I'm going to write 4 bromo, 4 methyl, pent 2 in. Now, look at the type of the halide that you're having here. You have a double bond and its adjacent carbon has a bromo group. Alright, I'll repeat again. There's a double bond between 2 and 3 and the alternate carbon is going to have or the next carbon is going to have a bromo group. Such kind of carbons where carbon number 2 and carbon number 3 has got an, a double bond and the adjacent carbon has a bromo group is called an Allyl halide. Allyl halide. Alright, so that is the compound number 9. Now, next compound is compound number 10. It says P chloro C6H4 CH2 CH CH3. Now, CH twice, sorry. CH twice. Now let's know what this P is. P is nothing but on a benzene ring, chloro group is at the para position. So let's draw that first. So your C6H4 is your benzene ring. So I'm just drawing the benzene ring. At one position I'm putting Cl 
para to this I'm going to have the CH2 group bonded to it. So I have CH2, CH, CH3, two times are there. So I have CH3. Now let's name this. Alright, so here, whenever you have this, your functional group here is given the first priority. So I'm going to name them 1, 2, 3 and 4. So these are the carbon rings. The, the carbon on the on the ring is numbered over here. Alright. So here it says you have a benzene ring. So definitely benzene ring will go as parent hydrocarbon. Alright. Now before that there are a few things to be written. So first thing is obviously your chloro group is here. Now this entire group here will be a substituent to the fourth position. So what we'll do because this particular carbon is bonded to your parent hydrocarbon, I am going to give that carbon as carbon number 1, then 2 and 3. So this is a side chain. So I'm going to name the side chain with the same rule. Alright. So when I start writing the name of the compound, this is going to be, I'll name the 1 in the alphabetical order. So here this is going to be 1 chloro. Alright. Now, this entire chain is standing on position number 4 of benzene ring. So I am going to put 4 over here and then I am going to name this entire thing. So here the chain is a propane chain but because we already have one parent hydrocarbon which is benzene, this parent hydrocarbon which is a standing as a side chain will become a prefix. So instead of propane, it will become propyl. Alright. Now on the propyl chain, second carbon you have methyl group. So it's going to be 2-methyl propyl benzene. Alright. And such kind of halides are called as benzyl halide. Alright. Now next one is question number 11. Now here... For this, you have MCl, CH2, C6H4, CH2, Cl, CH3, trice. Now, that is not Cl for the second one. It's just C. Alright. Now, let's see. You had definitely have a C6H4. So, you're going to have a benzene ring. So, let's draw the benzene ring. I have the benzene ring here. Now, I am going to have at meta position a CH to CL. So, I am going to give meta position a CH2 and a CL. Alright. Now, next one is going to be next to this, I am going to have a CH2 C with two CH3s. Three CH3s, sorry. Three of them. Alright, now if I want to name them, again the same rule. I'm going to start from the benzene ring, the substituent on the benzene ring. This is the substituent, so I'm going to start from here. If I go clockwise, this position will become position number 4. But if I go anti-clockwise, it's going to get position number 3. So I'm going to prefer the anti-clockwise direction. This will get position number 3. So now, when I name them, I am going to name this in such a way that... I am going to give priority to the functional groups. Alright. So here, obviously, benzene is going to be the parent hydrocarbon. So I am going to put benzene here in the last. Now, I am going to have at first position, one chloromethyl. That's the at position number one. I will just change the function here so that I can write the entire compound. Let's change the position. Alright, so I'm going to write this as 1 chloro methyl group. Okay, because it's position number 1. Next is standing at position number 3. We have an entire big chain. So let's start numbering them 1, 2, and 3. So that is going to stand on position number 3 on the benzene ring. So I'm going to put this as 3 and open the bracket. Now, this is going to have a 3-carbon chain over here. So, this is going to be 
a propyl. I told you a, a compound can have only one parent hydrocarbon. So this compound already has benzene as a parent hydrocarbon. So the other parent hydrocarbon becomes as prefix. So it's going to be propyl. Now in position number 2 and 2 you have dimethyl groups. So I'm going to name this as 2 comma 2 dimethyl propyl benzene. So this is going to be the IUPAC naming of this compound. Now if I'm looking at the type of the compound over here, benzene is bonded to a carbon. Now this carbon has an entire R group on one side. Therefore, this is not only called as a benzyl halide, it is also called as a primary benzyl halide because you have a CH2 bonded to a benzene ring. That entire benzene ring with the rest of the compound is an R group to the CH2. So when you have at least one R group, which means it is a primary group. Alright, now we have one last molecule, which is your 12th one. Now that is going to be O, B, R, C, 6, H, 4, C, H, C, H, 3, C, H, 2, C, H, 3. Let's draw the compound. Obviously, O meaning ortho. So, at ortho position, you have a BR group on the benzene ring. So, let's draw that. So, I have BR at the ortho position. And then I have here, to this group, I have CH. Then that is in the bracket. So, it's CH3 here. And then I have CH2, CH3. So here what I'm going to do, obviously I'm going to start with the functional groups. I'm going to number like this and I'll go anti-clockwise because then the entire chain will get the least count. So 1 and 2. Now let's name the side chain also. So this carbon is given first priority 1, 2 and 3. Now let's name them. Obviously benzene is going to be given the parent hydrocarbon. And here I'm going to write 1 bromo based on alphabetical order. Now... On position number 2 of the benzene ring, this entire chain is standing. So, I am going to put this as 2 and open the bracket. Now, what is the parent hydrocarbon here? It is a 3 carbon chain. So, definitely it is going to be a propyl chain. It will become a prefix. And on position number 1, I have a methyl group. So, it is going to be 1 methyl propyl. Alright. Now, here... This compound is directly linked with the halogen, so it's called as benzyl halide. Alright, so this is with the IUPAC naming of the compound and classifying the entire compound.